pet lovers, it's Spay and Neuter Awareness Month. Learn why it's so important to have these procedures done for your pet. And check out your local resources around Houston and Harris County. So my name is Dr. Malone. I'm the medical director here at the Houston Humane Society. I've been here about six years and I'm responsible for overseeing all of the medical care that's associated with the shelter animals as well as the animals that we see from the general public. Hi, I'm Dr. Kamiko Dixon, Director of Veterinary Operations at Harris County Pets. Day to day, I am performing spays and neuters in, on our shelter animals, as well as treating any sick or injured pet that comes in the shelter. Hi, my name is Grace Lee. I'm a veterinarian at Bark Animal Shelter and Adoptions. I am responsible for the medical care and treatment of the animals that come through our shelter. I also perform surgeries such as spaying and neutering. We have two large portions for the community. The first is our wellness clinic where we offer low-cost vaccinations, heartworm tests, heartworm prevention, and also heartworm treatment. And then the other branch is our shelter side, and that's where we take in injured or sick patients, or sick animals from the community. We offer spaying and neutering procedures. Um, also through our wellness clinic, people can come and get their dogs vaccinated and heartworm tested and purchase prevention. Um, we offer volunteer opportunities and fostering programs um, for our animals here at the shelter. Um, and then of course, uh, through our adoptions, somebody can adopt any one of our pets. Here at the Houston Humane Society, we offer a variety of services. One, we have a full service wellness clinic where we can do diagnostics, uh, we do spay neuter, we do other surgeries, special surgeries, dentals, heartworm treatment, uh, of course vaccines, microchipping, and all of the things that you can have done in a general practice. Uh, spaying and neutering have many benefits for the animals, the pet owners, and the community. Um, spaying and neutering will prevent unplanned pet pregnancies and reduce the number of homeless animals that roam around the streets each year. It also reduces the risk of certain reproductive cancers and infection. On average, the age will vary depending on the breed and the size of the patient. I always encourage for those animals who have regular vet visits to get with your local veterinarian and make that decision. But on average here, we're gonna spay or neuter typically at the age of adulthood, which is around six months. Absolutely not. Your pet does not need to reproduce first. And actually we can spay neuter as early as eight weeks. Uh, typically in, in cats and kittens, if, if they're two pounds, which typically they grow a pound a month, if they're two pounds, we can do the spay neuter. And some organizations are doing them as early as a pound and a half for, for kittens. So for responsible pet ownership, spay neuter uh, would be the primary thing. And then again, vaccinations, deworming, heartworm preventative, and also microchipping, because if these animals get out or get lost and they go into a shelter or some organization, we can scan them from a microchip and actually find out who the owner is and, and have that animal placed back in the home. Yeah, some negative um, effects that pet owners might experience from not spaying and neutering um, is some behavior related issues such as aggression. Um, intact animals are more likely to roam away from the home and can lead into accidents and injuries. Um, we can also see increased urinary marking and um, spraying behaviors from intact animals as well. On average, it will take seven days for your pet to heal after spay and neutering. So we just have to remember no baths, no long walks, and no rough playing for a full week. 